So today's episode is not just a journey through nature, but it's also a journey through time. Because where I'm standing is possibly some of the most ancient of lands in Britain. Steeped in legend and they have a spirit to themselves that shows out in weather like this. It really does come to the fore. Today, I'm in Eridi, formerly known as Snowdonia. What I'm aiming to do today is to not only capture the, the beauty and the, and the savagery, if you like, of this landscape and the peaks that you see, and especially the, the one behind me now, it's, it's quite dramatic, even like the, the sky now behind me, just as clouds, and a minute ago they were pure black, and against that skyline, it's just amazing, and there's snow covering the peaks, we'll see that in a few minutes, but I think it's also more trying to capture the spirit of this land and Wales is steeped in legend in days gone by way back before the time of modern history was written and records kept there was a king called Cadawader I think I pronounced his name right he was he actually existed he was a medieval king. Now, reputedly, he was the last of the Britons. And the legend goes something like this, that he had a number of dragons which guarded him and his kingdom. And when he passed, those dragons continued to guard the land that we now know as Wales. And I think it's befitting because you can just imagine looking at landscape like this, you could just imagine those dragons just sweeping down out of the hills and coming swooping over the landscape, driving off enemies of Wales. So what I'm at capturing today is not only the landscape, but also the spirit of those dragons. These mountains really are just breathtakingly beautiful. There was a dusting of snow this morning. I spoke to a, a hiker who'd been up here earlier and she was saying at about nine o'clock the snow came in. And that's the thing with this place. It, it, the weather can change literally in a matter of seconds. One minute you can be standing in the sun in sort of 10, 15 degrees and the next minute it can be two degrees and in the middle of a blizzard. But you can imagine, just going back to the legends, you look at something like this that's in front of us, and those clouds behind you, you can just imagine just seeing a dragon coming over the top of that peak. It really does make your mind boggle. It's absolutely stunning. Just beautiful.
So I thought I'd just record a very quick bit of video on the way up here. Um, it is quite windy, I apologise. I'll try and shield the mic if I can. It's, to say the least, tough going. Uh, it's snowing every few minutes. And as I get nearer the top, that snow is starting to increase. So um, the mountain itself, where I'm climbing, is 872 metres, according to the map. So um, what I'm going to do is I'll just keep going until I get near the top and then uh, I'll come back to you and then I'll set up some shots. Uh, hopefully the, uh, the view that I've just shown on that B-roll has come out and um, it looks absolutely beautiful with that tarn as well. So um, yeah, you can just see it over my shoulder there. Such a gorgeous view and the light as well. So once I get to the top, there should be some really great shots from the top. So. I will get back to you in a few minutes. And as you can see from the clouds, those words did not come to fruition. Because what happened was that the clouds built and built and kept building. So we went from this to this which was a little bit ominous and which really sort of got my attention and then we went to this now you're going to take a look at that photo and think that I've actually done a lot of post-production to it but that would not be the case that was the colour of the sky and as you will see in the next clip, that led to something quite unexpected. But I was prepared. I don't know if you can hear me over this wind. As you can probably see, it's now driving snow. And it's really come in, the wind has picked up and it is bitterly cold. So, best thing to do in these circumstances is just to carry on. And keep moving, I did. Although in this clip, I was trying to film, and as you can see, I was filming with the phone because the conditions had got so bad, I was straight into a blizzard. Once I got to the top, it was impossible to record any audio. And that's the reason why the wind had picked up so much that it was unbelievably difficult to even keep hold of the tripod. However, I did manage to get one shot and I didn't even make it to the top which was shrouded in complete clag. So <clears throat> there will be a return trip and I will be scaling the top of Mole Shabod which was this mountain. Anyway, here is the shot that I got from where I ended up. short length of this week's video. As you can probably gather I didn't manage to do any of the normal stuff that I would do on one of my videos because of the weather. Uh, I cannot tell you just how bad that weather was. The, the blizzard, the wind, everything just conspired to, to stop me from doing what I would normally do which is show you guys what I'm looking at on the back of the camera and how I'm composing a shot. Um, next week's location is looking a lot better, albeit it might be a little bit damp, but I can cope with that quite easily. 
So, if you've liked today's video, despite all the uh, complications, then please hit the thumbs up button. And if you want to see more of my content, then please hit the subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. In the meantime, what I'll do is I will put up on the screen at the end of this video some of the extra images I managed to capture on the day. As always, get out there, keep shooting, keep practicing and keep enjoying photography. And until next time, I'll see you then. Take care.